Welcome to the Wednesday, July 1st, 2015 edition of Ernerberry's Market Video, sponsored by JBS. In today's video, we'll take a look at May's Restaurant Performance Index. Then later, an analysis of the Turkey Hatch Report in the face of HiPath AI. But first, with this week's Crop Progress Report, here's your host, Jamie Chadwick. The USDA reports corn soaking at 4% in the latest crop progress report. The corn condition lost a few points with 92% rated in fair to excellent condition and 8% in poor to very poor condition. Soybean plantings are still running behind progress rates of past years, currently at 94%. Emergence is at 89% and 8% of soybeans are in bloom as of the latest survey. The overall condition of the soybean crop is rated 91% fair to excellent. In the Corn Belt, we've had some warm, dry weather promoting rapid corn and soybean development in the northern area, while in the eastern portion of the Belt, cooler, wetter conditions were somewhat unfavorable this past week. For continued crop coverage, subscribers should click on the news link in Comtel. Next up, Ernerberry staffer Julie Gallagher takes a look at May's Restaurant Performance Index. The National Restaurant Association released its Restaurant Performance Index for the month of May yesterday, showing a slight decline from the previous month. The RPI stood at 102.3, which is down 0.4% from April. Despite this mild downward shift, the RPI remained positive. This is the 27th consecutive month in which the RPI was above 100. This demonstrates that key industry indicators such as same-store sales, employees, business conditions, and labor cap and capital expenditures are in a continued period of expansion. For more information about the Restaurant performance index, please visit foodmarket.com. Thanks, Julie. Finishing up today's video, here's poultry market reporter Terrence Walls with an analysis of the turkey hatch report in the face of HPAI. The turkey industry has faced flock losses, breeding stock related issues, and now they're seeing significant declines to the number of eggs set for potential production. In fact, Ernerberry's hatch report figures for the past eight of ten weeks have shown reductions of about 3.5 percent. Over the past month, sets have declined by 5.75 percent year over year. What this likely means is that come the fourth quarter, slaughter will be well below year ago levels, correlating more closely with 2013 than 2014. As a quick refresher, 2013 was the year highlighted by sharp reductions at the hatchery level, which resulted in curtailed slaughter, helping to lead many turkey market values to all-time highs last year. Looking ahead with sets in decline, turkey slaughter will likely be heading southbound and down as the balance of the year unfolds. Thanks, Terrence. That concludes today's show. Thanks for watching and have a great day. Today's video is sponsored by JBS. For the best hamburgers, roast beef, cheesesteaks, jerky, and meatballs, start with the best raw materials. Call JBS today and find out how thousands of companies use JBS Australian Boneless and Box Beef. Contact Tom Enders at 855-814-0963 for more information.